Hello, in this video, I'm going to go over one of my favourite mathematical jokes. The joke is as follows. What did Pi say to I? Get real. What did I say to Pi? Be rational. I like this joke so much, I even have it stuck to the, my calculator case. So, before we, uh, we get into it properly, we obviously need to know what Pi and I are. So, I'm sure most people know what Pi is. It's the mathematical constant approximately equal to 3.14 that we can define, as I'm doing here, as the circumference of any circle divided by the diameter of that circle. So you take any circle, you take its circumference, you divide that by its diameter, and that will give you pi. Always. And i is the number we define to be the square root of negative 1. So that means i squared equals negative 1. And you can also think of that as a uh, solution to the equation x squared plus 1 equals 0. Now, of course, on our uh, traditional number line, there aren't any numbers that square to be negative 1. Because positive numbers obviously square to positive numbers, and negative numbers also square to positive numbers as the negatives cancel, and then zero squares to zero. So there are no numbers that square to negative numbers. But being able to have a square root of negative number is actually very useful for lots and lots of things. So mathematicians have just defined a number i to be this square root. Now, of course, it doesn't fit on the number line, so we normally put it perpendicular to the number line, as you can see in this diagram. Now we also need to know what a set is. And a set is a collection of elements. That could be anything, um, shapes, words, or traditionally, and as we'll be using in this video, numbers. And a set can have any number of elements. It can have no elements. It can have one element, two elements, five elements, a hundred elements, or even infinite number of elements. And we are go going to consider some infinite sets of numbers. These sets form a hierarchy. So we've got the natural numbers, the, that's the n, the integers, that's the z, the rationals, that's the q, the reals, that's the r, and the complex numbers, that's the c. All natural numbers are also integers and are also ra uh, rationals, are also real, and are also complex. But certainly not all complex numbers are real, rational, uh, integers, or natural. So this is a, like a one-way hierarchy. So the natural numbers are our counting numbers. That's pretty simple. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The inclusion of 0 is a bit controversial, but otherwise, this is very simple. The integers are our whole numbers, positive and negative, and 0. So that's all 0, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, and so on, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. That's pretty simple. Now, we can ex extend these uh, this to get to the rational numbers and these are all of our fractions so all the numbers a over b such that a and b are in the integers and b is not equal to zero because of course we can't have division by zero this is a very useful extension of the integers because in just the integers we can't do most divisions what's one divided by two well in the integers there is no answer the rationals give us that answer um, but there's still some things we can't do for example we can't take the square root of any number what's the square root of two well we can't express that as a fraction. Um, it's not a rational number. We call it irrational. But it is a real number. Now, how can we define the real numbers? Th that's, that's quite tricky. Um, for our purposes, we can just say it's any number that doesn't include i. What numbers do include i? Well, that would be the complex numbers. All of the numbers of the form a plus bi, where a and b are in the real numbers. So that could be i, that could be 2i. That could be 5 plus 3i, that could be negative 2 minus 2i, that could be 0, that could be 2, that could be 1. Remember, b can be 0, as can a. So, the complex numbers contain the real numbers, but not all real numbers are complex. We now have everything we need to start to understand this joke. i is not a real number. I mean, it contains i. By our very simple definition, it is not a real number. And pi is not rational. Now, the proof of this is beyond the scope of this video, uh, but it is not possible to represent pi as the fraction of two integers. So that, that is the fraction of two whole numbers. So i is not real and pi is not rational. Hence, what did pi say to i? Get real, seeming as uh, pi, uh, i is not a real number. It's complex. And what did i say to pi? Be rational, seeming as pi is an irrational number. However, you may have noticed that i is not a rational number either, as the rationals are all of the num 
uh, all the numbers A over B, where A and B are integers, and B is not equal to zero. Integers. You can't express I as the fraction of two integers. So I is not rational either. Hence, I is a hypocrite. Thank you for watching.